Hello, welcome back everyone. It's Professor Gray and it's time for week seven of our freshman English class. I hope uh, you had a good weekend. Uh, your homework was well done, thank you. Uh, uh, most of you, it seemed like the majority of you uh, chose, you know, um, Habitat for Humanity because they make, uh, they make uh, houses which are a basic human need, basic necessity of life. So that was a very good reason. But a lot of you, uh, quite a few chose some other organizations. Uh, Earthwatch, obviously protecting the planet is absolutely essential. And Cross-Cultural Solutions, some of you pointed out very well that education and uh, education and healthcare are necessities for a society. Uh, you cannot really grow your society without good education for children and adults. And of course, good health care. If people aren't healthy, well, they can't really accomplish so much. Uh, a couple of you even said the Volunteer Canada organization. Sure. Um, a real, couple of really good points included they, it gets more community involvement. It's sort of everybody can get involved. Um, and it kind of brings the community together. And I think that was a very good point. I liked that point. Uh, for number two, everybody, of course, said yes. Um, when famous people volunteer, they, they help bring attention to the problem. Uh, we might not know about a problem, but we see a president or an uh, athlete or a musician talking about it. And, oh, now we know there's people that need help or, uh, you know, animals that need help. Or there's a situation that we are aware of. They bring awareness. This is good. And they lead by example. Right? They can inspire or encourage us to help out. Sure, if you're a hero, uh, somebody you really, you really look up to is you know, building a house or helping, uh, helping old people or doing some good work, maybe you will do it too. Hmm? So absolutely yes, all of you said yes for number two. Okay, uh, keep doing a good job on the work. Always remember, try not to just quick little answers. I mean, I, I look for an answer and a reason. I look for a little bit of a uh, little effort in the homework, not just a quick, simple answer. Chapter eight. Uh, last week, the homework was to read the story. Let's read the story together. Page 97. Everyone knows that we must eat food in order to live. Last week, we learned in order to means the, the reason, the purpose. Okay, why? Why do we eat food? Well, to live. In order plus to. Uh, sorry, in order to plus verb. In order to live. In order to help. In order to study. Okay, to plus verb. However, sometimes people are confused about what type of food is healthy and what kind of food can be harmful to our health. Notice type of food, kind of food, same type, kind. Harmful means bad. It can hurt us. The USDA has prepared a food guide to help people learn about which types of food are the healthiest to eat. The food guide describes six basic food groups, meat, beef, fish, chicken, etc. ETC, we use in English a lot when we're giving a list. It stands for et cetera. If you look in your notes, today's notes, et ET means and, etc., and so on, okay? There are many countries in Asia, uh, Korea, China, Japan, etc., and so on, okay? A list. Dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, etc. When you see it, you don't say et or ETC, you say etc., 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 etc. Grains, bread, cereal, rice, cereal, rice, etc., fruits and vegetables. The last group is fat, fats, oils, and sweets. The USDA also suggests how much of each food group is healthy to eat daily. Although this guide was prepared by the US government, it is very useful for people all over the world. As a result of years of research, we know that too much animal fat is bad for our health. Now, some is good, but too much is bad. For example, Americans eat a lot of meat and only a small amount of grains, fruit, and vegetable. vegetables. Because of their diet, they have a high rate of cancer and heart disease. 
The Japan, in Japan, in contrast, people eat large amounts of grains and very little meat. <clears throat> the Japanese also have a very low rate of cancer and heart disease. You can see a connection here. In fact, the Japanese live longer than almost anyone else in the world. Unfortunately, when Japanese people move to the United States, the rate of heart disease and cancer increases as their diet changes. Moreover, and also, moreover, as hamburgers, ice cream, and other high-fat foods become popular in Japan, the rate of heart disease and cancer is increasing there as well. People are also eating more meat and dairy products in other countries, such as Cuba, Mauritius, and Hungary. Cuba is just south of the United States. It's near Florida. And uh, it's an island in the Caribbean. Mauritius, pronunciation Mauritius, Mauritius, is an island in the Indian Ocean. It's not too far from Africa. It's actually close to Madagascar. Maybe you've seen Madagascar on a map. Hungary, of course, is in Europe, Eastern Europe, near Austria. Uh, not surprisingly, the disease rate in these countries is increasing along with the change in diet. Consequently, doctors everywhere advise people, consequently, therefore, so, advise people to eat more grains, fruit, and vegetables, and eat less meat and fewer dairy products. A healthy diet is important for children as well as adults. Uh, when adults have poor eating habits, their children usually do too. After all, children eat the same way as their parents. True, children copy, follow their parents. When parents eat healthy food, the children will learn to enjoy it too. Then they will develop good eating habits. Doctors advise, suggest, or give advice to. Okay? A doctor, a teacher, a parent will advise, will give advice to help you. Uh, to give their children uh, healthier snacks, such as fruit, vegetables, and juice. Notice doctors advise parents too. Uh, X advise Y to do something. Everyone wants to live a long, healthy life. We know that the food we eat affects us in different ways. For instance, for example, Doctors believe that fruit and vegetables can actually prevent, stop, many different diseases. On the other hand, animal fat can cause disease, can lead to, can make it happen. We can improve our diet now and enjoy many years of healthy living. And there we see a beautiful, delicious picture. I know. You look at that picture and you go, oh, not delicious. Ah. I know it's all fruits and vegetables, but it's so healthy. It's so good for you, right? Look, if you eat something like that at least once a day, you're, you will be healthier. You know, you can make a smoothie every morning. I make a smoothie. I take a blender, mixogi, blend, blender, mixer, and I put in fruit and green vegetables and sometimes some ginger and yogurt. Um, and I, the water, of course, some water sometimes coconut water too, blend it together and drink it. It's delicious. Have it in the morning. It's very healthy. It helps sort of, uh, you know, clean your system. It gives you energy. It's a really, really good thing to do. And, you know, it tastes good. You can take vegetables and fruit and put them together and just drink them. It's like having a fruit salad to drink. And mornings, I think, are the best time for it. Okay. The homework, uh, written homework, uh, the questions are A on page 99. Uh, part one is A, the kind of diet we have can cause or prevent diseases. That's the main idea. A good healthy diet, grains, fruit, vegetables, will prevent diseases, cancer, heart disease, and so on. Um, or a bad diet with not so healthy food can um, cause diseases and make us less healthy. Okay, American diet, uh, part two, lots of meat, 
small amounts of grains, fruits, and vegetables. Lots of meat, small amounts of grain, fruit, vegetable. Japanese diet, large amount of grains and very little meat. Kind of opposite. Effects of diet on health, American diet, high rate of cancer and heart disease. Japanese diet, the effects of the diet on health, low rate of cancer, low rate of heart disease, and live longer than almost everyone else. Wow. That's an effect too. What doctors believe, this is the main point. The main point, fruit and vegetable can prevent diseases. Too much animal fat, too much meat can cause diseases. That's the main idea. The food you eat can either prevent diseases or cause them. This is very important to remember. Always have a healthy diet. Okay, let's go through chapter eight now together. We're gonna to work together in class right now. So first, uh, reading analysis part B, page 100 to 103. There are nine questions, they're quite long. I want you to do them now, okay? Hit pause, kind of like we do with the uh, listening lab class. You pause, listen, hear, pause, read, answer the questions, come back. Try to finish the nine questions in around 12 minutes. Okay, try, try to push yourself. Don't go too slowly. Push yourself to finish in 12 minutes or less. Less is good too. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and work, then come back. Number one, in order to, means, of course, the reason. A, number one, the reason. B, uh, Cindy went to the supermarket in order to, why? Why do you go to a supermarket? Buy some food. To buy, two plus verb, to buy some food. Number two, uh, A, we talked about it, the kind of, the type of, kind, type, kind, type, same, synonym, kind, A, is type, T-Y-P-E. B, confused, is mixed up, number one. Harmful is bad, harmful for your health, bad for your health, number, C is number one. Three, the USDA described basic food groups. So the USDA is the United States Department of Agriculture. Uh, how do you know? It says at the bottom of the page, and in English, we call that a footnote, F-O-O-T, N-O-T-E, footnote, foot bottom, like the bottom of your body is your foot, your feet, note, you know, a note. So I guess in Korea it's juusok, but in English we call that footnote. Uh, D, okay, the basic food group, meat, you know, beef, dairy, like yogurt or milk, grains, uh, like cereal or bread, uh, fruit, you know, apple, orange, banana, vegetables, uh, spinach, uh, uh, fat soils and sweets, of course. Sweets can be chocolates, uh, oil, cooking oil, you know, olive oil, fats. Mm, fats are not so good, of course. Daily, E means every day. E, number one, every day. Daily, every day. Number four, uh, A in contrast is an opposite idea. Contrast, left hand, right hand, opposite. Okay, contrast, good, bad, day, night, light, dark. And opposites, showing a contrast. B, in fact, is number three, okay? Not number one. B, number one, is true. After in fact, there's usually more information, but it's not just kunyang information. It's very surprising or very interesting or shocking information, okay? In fact, the Japanese live longer than anyone else in the world. That's very special unique information. So not just more, but surprisingly more, or uh, sorry, more information that is surprising. B is number three, remember that. C, anyone else, one, all other people, okay? They live longer than all other people in the world. Number five, unfortunately, A is something bad. Un means not, fortune means luck, so bad luck not lucky, unfortunate. B, as means when, okay? Uh, as their diet changes, when their diet changes. C, moreover, means also, and plus, one more thing. 
Uh, D, high fat foods are hamburgers, ice cream, you know, so on. Uh, e there refers to Japan. E is number three in Japan. Number six, such as is for example, okay? Such as there are many days in the week, such as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. For example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Not surprisingly, uh, three, easy to believe. Okay, it's, if, you don't, if it's not a surprise, you can believe it. It's very believable. Number, uh, C is number two, consequently means so, therefore, or as a result. Three, C number two, as a result. Number seven, A, uh, three, okay. Uh, a is three, B is one, okay. As well as means and also, and it means also the same or equal. So X as well as Y, X and Y equal or same. Okay, seven A three, seven B one. I want to go to the, the park as well as the river. I want to go to the park and also the river. Number eight, um, after all, children eat the same way as their parents. After all is followed by an explanation, okay? When adults have poor eating habits, their children usually do too. Explain why. After all, and why? Children, why do they have it? Because children eat the same way as their parents. After all, plus an explanation. Why? Uh, Jose speaks Spanish. It's pronounced Jose. The J is like an H. Jose speaks Spanish fluently. Why? Number one, because he lived in Venezuela for 15 years. Not because he reads many books. The books could be written in English or any language. Reading books doesn't really mean you can speak fluently, but maybe living in Venezuela, that's a Spanish speaking country. So Jose speaks Spanish fluently after all, and explanation. Why does he speak Spanish fluently? because he lived in Venezuela for 15 years. Number nine, last one, uh, A, prevent and cause are opposite. Prevent means stop, cause means make it happen. B, prevent, one, to keep, stop, keep from happening or stop. C, on the other hand, opposite. And D, I may visit many places, many different places on my vacation. On the other hand, I may stay home and relax too. I may go many places, or on the other hand, opposite, not go. Stay home and relax. One hand, opposite hand. On the other hand, opposite. Very good. C, dictionary skills. Okay, page 104. Okay, I want you to read the sentences. Confuse, mo, 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 and choose the answer. Uh, with, in this sentence, is it definition one or definition two? Then for B, which sentence restates the sentence from the story? Number two, suggest. Read the sentence. Is it definition one or, or two? And which one is the restatement? Dictionary skills, go ahead. Number one and number two, try to finish in five minutes or so. Okay, go ahead. Sometimes people are confused about what type of food is healthy and what kind of food, type of food, kind of food, same, can be bad for our health. Well, is this to make, number one, to mix things up. Uh, oh, yeah, I was supposed to, I have two papers here and I was supposed to give you this one, but I, I gave you this one, I mixed them up. They look the same. I mixed up, you know, with my hands, with my action. But number two is to mix up in your mind. Ah, oh, it's confusing. Um, I don't understand. Uh, the question is confusing. I, I don't understand. Okay, here I just made a mistake. I did A instead of B, kind of mistake, you know. Oops. But number two is sort of, I don't understand. And here the answer is two, okay? Confused is definition two, to mix up mentally in your mind. Sometimes people feel mixed up and cannot understand. 
which kinds of food are healthy and which kinds are not. Cannot understand in your mind. Confused, confusing. Number two, suggest can be to propose, to suggest an idea. Uh, he suggested that we have lunch at the hotel. Okay, hey, propose, idea. Hey, let's go have lunch. Number two, to bring to mind or to indicate. The picture suggests an ancient battle scene. Uh, if every student gets 100% on the test, that suggests the test maybe was too easy. Or it suggests everybody studied hard and worked hard. Okay, maybe to may bring to mind, hmm, maybe the test was too easy. The idea come, came into the teacher's mind. Okay. The, good, the high scores suggested that maybe the test was too easy. Uh, A, number one, okay, to propose. The USDA proposed how much, suggested, proposed, uh, make a suggestion. And B is number two, offered people an idea. To offer an idea is to suggest an idea for people. So number one, A is two, B is two. Number two, A is one, B is two. D, word forms. Okay, we're gonna do these step by step. Part one, listen. In English, some verbs become nouns by adding the suffix M-E-N-T. For example, announce, verb. Announcement, noun. Complete each sentence with the correct form of the words on the left. Write all the verbs in the simple present tense. I go, you go, he goes, she goes, we go. They may be affirmative, positive, or negative, negative. The nouns may be singular or plural. Be very careful, okay? Take your time, read them carefully. Just do part one, one, two, three, four, five, uh, maybe maximum three or four minutes, four or five minutes, say four or five minutes. I wrote down five to seven, but see if you can go a little faster, okay? Go ahead, part one, one, two, three, four, five. Number one, manufacturers have made many improvements in computers, many, more than one. Many improvement, no. Many improvements, plural. Uh, manufacturers improve their products to satisfy their customers. Improvements with an S and improve. They improve, simple, present tense. Number two, some vegetarians, people who don't eat meat, okay, think that eating meat is unhealthy. Faye, Faye is a woman's name, Momo Binkan with these vegetarians. Faye believes that eating meat occasionally, sometimes eating meat is okay, causes no health problems. So therefore, Faye doesn't agree with these vegetarians. Some vegetarians think that eating meat is unhealthy. Faye doesn't agree. Sometimes a little meat is okay, not agreeing. However, she is in agreement, agreement is in noun, in agreement. She is in agreement means she agrees with the idea that fruit and vegetables are very healthy. Notice however, however shows opposite, change. It was raining, however, we still went for a walk. So however she is in agreement means however she agrees. However, shows opposite. So before, it's she doesn't agree. Faye doesn't agree, mo, 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 mo. However, she does agree, mo, mo, mo. Opposite. Number three, Jason, he always encourages he plus S at the end. I encourage, you encourage, he, Jason, encourages. In fact, his encouragement has often helped me to succeed. Be careful. Encouragement is not plural. We don't say his encouragements, no. His encouragements have often helped, no. No S. Encouragement is not pluralized. Don't make it plural. How, in fact, his encouragement has often helped me. 
Number four, scientists are working to verb, to plus verb, to develop a cure. The noun, the development. To verb, the noun. To develop, the development. And number five, I'm Momo, going to the movies alone. Hmm. I prefer to go with a friend. With a friend is better than going alone. Yeah, I think so. We agree. So therefore, I don't enjoy going to the movies alone. Yeah, no, not many people. Some people maybe do, yeah. But it's always more fun with a friend. Watching a movie with a friend adds to my noun, my enjoyment. I don't enjoy, mo, 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 adds to my enjoyment. How do we do? Out of 10. Remember, on a test, when you get these questions, it must be exactly right. If you forget the plural, wrong. If you've got the wrong tense, past, present, future, wrong. Positive, negative is wrong, it's wrong. It's either right or it's wrong. Part two, page 106. In English, the noun form and the verb form of some words are the same. For example, move, to move, verb, move, a move, noun. Complete each sentence with the correct form of the word on the left. Circle V for a verb and N for a noun. Write all the verbs in the simple present tense, positive, negative. Nouns could be singular or plural. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, and five. Look at the top of page 107. There is number five. Okay, try to finish in about five minutes, more or less. Go ahead. Number one, Dr. Johnson doesn't research cures for cancer. Verb, doesn't, negative. Why negative? She does all her research, noun, on heart disease. All means 100%, total, everything. If all of her research is heart disease, then there's no research on cancer. Dr. Johnson doesn't research cures for cancer, verb. She does all her research, noun, on heart disease. Number two, during the summer, the temperature increases, verb, with an S. I increase, you increase, it increases. The temperature increases to about 30 degrees. 30 do, samship do. And do in English is degrees. Okay, samship do. Also for a um, uh, triangle, you know, guship uh, do, 90 degree, a 90 degree angle, or guship do, 90 degrees, same. This significant increase, noun, increase. So this increase, this noun. Number two, increases, verb, increase, noun. Number three, I like the sweet taste of fruit, such as cherries, pears, and peaches, noun. Sweet taste, adjective noun. Lemons, momo, sweet, however, they are very sour. Sweet and sour, same, opposite. Lemons don't taste sweet, of course. Everybody knows lemons aren't sweet, so it must be negative. Lemons don't taste sweet, however, opposite change. Not sweet like cherries, pears, and peaches. Not sweet, very sour. Verb. Noun, taste. Verb, don't taste. Number four, in some areas of the world there are four, four, singular? No, one, two, three, four. Four, are four, plural. Changes, with an S, changes. Uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter, like Korea, there are four changes in seasons. The climate in other countries, however, now the word however, is a clue. However means a kind of change, opposite. Yeah? However, in other countries, the climate doesn't change at all. Not at all. Does not change. With at all, we often use negative. I did not like that book at all. I did not enjoy the movie at all. Not at all. Verb. Does not change. Doesn't change at all. 
Number five, there are many causes, plural, many, plural, many books, many students, many uh, pens, many desks, many causes, noun, plural. Uh, exposure to the sun causes skin cancer, verb. Same, causes, noun, causes, verb. It causes, he causes, she causes, exposure causes. Very good. How'd you do? Remember, practice those, review those. On the real exam, if it's wrong, it's wrong. No half points, no, it's either the right word or it's wrong. Last one that we will do together, vocabulary in context, E. Well, take about uh, five minutes and answer the questions one through eight. Page 107, 108, vocabulary in context. Go ahead. Number one, that's pronounced Leon, not Leon, E, Leon. L-E-O is Leo, like a lion. Leo, Leon. Remember the movie, The Matrix? Did you see The Matrix? Hmm. Um, I remember in Korean, the subtitle said Neo, but actually his, word, his name is Neo, N-E-O, means new. Not Neo, Neo. In English, it's Neo, Leo like Leonardo DiCaprio, all right? Not surprisingly, Leon is healthier than Sam. Number one, not surprisingly. Number two, unfortunately, very sad, bad luck, it rained all day. Number three, in contrast, okay? Tom, uh, Michael is short, Tom is tall, opposite, contrast. Michael has long, light hair, Tom has dark hair, opposite, in contrast. Number four, when Harry and Bill do dangerous work, they prevent injury, prevent, stop. How? By being especially careful, very careful. If you're very careful, you can stop injury. You can prevent getting hurt. Number five, Jane loves to read books. In fact, she reads about 100 books a year. Good for her. Ah, is this more information? Yeah. Is 100 books a year just normal? It's surprising information. 100 books a year? That's two, two books every week. That's a lot. That's not just more information. That's surprising information. In fact, plus surprising, strange, unusual information. Number six, uh, I suggest that you go to bed before 8 p.m. Okay, I suggest, okay, I suggest. Uh, number seven, in order to lose weight, okay, if you want to lose weight, okay, the reason to lose weight, if you exercise more, it's in order to, the reason is to lose weight. Number eight, Lee, that's pronounced Lee. Lee's directions always confuse me. Number eight, confuse, confuse. How did we do? Okay, we are almost, uh, well, we're getting through chapter eight pretty well. Uh, the homework now is F and G. Okay, listen carefully. F, answer number one to number three in your email. Number one, why did the USA, USDA prepare a food guide for Americans? Okay, one answer, one reason why. Why did they do it? Number two, why are fats, oils, and sweets uh, group together, two reasons. Try to think of two reasons why they are in the same group. Fats, oils, sweets. Number one, one reason why. Number two, two reasons why. Number three, why do Japanese people change their diet when they move to the United States? Okay, uh, two, two reasons. Give me two reasons why you think Japanese people change their diet when they move to the U.S. So, number one, one reason. Number two, two reasons. Number three, two reasons. All right. Finally, G, another look. This is also homework. You must finish it at home, and we will review next week's lecture. You don't have to send me your answers for section G. So, online, I want the answers for F, 
but you must also read G. Why do I eat when I'm not hungry? Read G and answer question one, two, three, four. Page 110 and page 111. All right? So your homework this week is to watch the video lecture of, uh, for Listening Lab. Complete the Listening Lab. And then, you know, if you have a question, you can ask. And F, page 108, 109, think about it. Number one, number two, number three. G is also homework, but you don't have to send me your answers for G. But you must complete section G, page 109, 110, and 111. And if you have questions, of course, you can ask me in your email. That's all for this week. Uh, as I said in the email to you, uh, right now, uh, well, our, our midterm test will be in week nine. This is week seven, so our midterm is in two weeks. You will get the midterm test online during your class time. I will email you uh, soon, or next week, uh, next Monday. Uh, my email will include uh, the time for your midterm test, exactly the time, and what you must study. I will tell everybody what sections and that kind of thing. I'll give you some uh, information about the midterm test. For now, do your homework, begin reviewing, review vocabulary, review key expressions, review the stories. I might ask you questions about the stories, the vocabulary, the expressions, all of that. Review is good for the midterm test. Your midterm test will not be this week. It will not be next week. It will be in two weeks during week nine. That's when you will get your midterm test. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please email me your questions, okay? Again, the midterm test will be online, okay? I will send it to you in an email during your class time. You will answer the questions and you will send me back your answers. You will have a time limit, but I will tell you more about that next week. All right, everyone. Excellent. Great work today. Really appreciate your effort. Remember to email me before Thursday at 9 a.m. Thursday morning, 9 a.m. is the deadline. Any after that, five minutes, 10 minutes, doesn't matter. Late. There's no reason to be late. You have lots of time. 9 a.m. Thursday, if it's there and done well, homework is complete, attendance is complete. If you're late, it's late. If you don't send it to me, then you're absent. You lose even more points. Be sure to get your homework done. All right. Great work, everyone. Uh, any questions, please ask me. Have a good week. Uh, I look forward to getting your email, and I'll see you next week. That's all for today. Bye-bye.